All right, YouTube. Look what we got here. I got me another Argo. So if y'all remember, I had one a couple years ago. I didn't take, I don't think I really took many videos of it. I may have had like one. But uh, I just traded the Kawasaki for this last night. I'm about to go through and see about getting this thing operational and nicen it up some. So what we have here is what I believe to be a Hustler 900 or 960, I think it is. It's from the 70s or 80s, at least I think it is. Uh, status of it right now that I can tell, the wiring's kind of a mess. I'm going through that right now trying to sort everything. I'm going to do a new panel where everything's organized and labeled. Like all of this, I've been going through. I know this is the engine harness that goes to the key switch and an hour meter that's been painted over. I'm working one by one trying to get all of these out of here so I can redo them. Um, engine wise, let's see. I have this because there's no air box over this thing. I have to make one so stuff doesn't fall in the carburetor. Uh, drive train wise, I've removed what they had here. They had two lawnmower batteries. I'm going to swap that out for a boat battery. Things I know it needs. One, if you look, you know anything about Argos, there are supposed to be some levers from these little arms here to these little knobs. Those are the shift forks. And they are not connected to anything. It is stuck in forward right now, or drive. And the little shift lever right here doesn't do nothing. It's just chilling there. So, I gotta see if I can't fabricate something to where I can make those work like they're supposed to. Second thing I see that's wrong with it is the chain is off on the front sprocket up there. And that's really it. Uh, this exhaust is broke off too. It's just sitting here. There's nothing connected to it. So, that's your quick little what's wrong with it. I'm going to give you the overview of what I'm going to do with it. So I'm going to fix everything, organize the wiring, get it running properly. Uh, I plan on trying to restore that winch, get it working, or replace it. I want to add one on the back as well, where i got a winch on either end. And I'm going to get a bunch of pod lights. I'm going to put one on each corner back here. And one on each corner in the front. And I'm going to see about getting some surface mount lights. I have these two little pods. You can see, well, kind of. You can see the cut out there. Let's see if I can't make a light fit in there. Either that or I'll put another pod right here on the corners of this. Where I have lights all the way around. And... That's really about it. I might do a little bit of porting on the top end of it, see if I can't get a little more power out of it. I don't know what model this is. It looks like it's either a Kohler or a Harbor Freight. It has no identification on it. But um, if it's a Harbor Freight, I can do some work on it. Get a little more power out of it. It should be between 20 and 26 horsepower, I think. But, uh, yeah. So that's the, the new Argo I'm going to be working on. I got rid of the Kawasaki, but it was a good four-wheeler, but I want one of these more than I want that four-wheeler. I have the Honda still. But that's about it. Like, video, comment, rate, subscribe. Have an awesome day.